All right, guys. Hey, hey, Sisterhood team call. Uh, we will get rolling in just a couple minutes. Let's do account uh, announcements first. So if anybody has a shout out or recognition, um, take yourselves off mute. I'll go. Where am I? There I am. I don't know what's happening with my camera. Um, I'm super, super excited to shout out Chanel, who's going Emerald tomorrow. Um, she, she had a slow start. I'm not going to sugarcoat it, but she decided that she wanted to take it seriously. And she stepped into uh, the bat challenge that Ashlyn ran. And then she joined in on the Emerald contest that Courtney and Aaron started. And she just like really, really, really wanted to be a part of that. And she took it seriously. And she figured out her way of doing all the things. And she did it. Um, and so tomorrow she goes Emerald and I'm just super freaking excited for her. So she said today that she feels like it's all finally starting to come together for her. Her community is growing. Um, so kudos to you. I'm super proud of you. Congrats. I'll go. Um, I want to shout out Lori Delahunt Calori. She was in her February coach mentorship noon on February 28th. She was at SC0, 3 p.m. on February 28th. She was at SC6. Lori locked in SC in three hours. The pressure was on. She went ahead into her group. She had already gotten some clients on in January and then in February did a referral and literally locked in SC in three hours. And it's so amazing. Um, Lori, you were doing amazing with this business already and I can't wait to see where you continue to grow. I'll go. Um, I just wanted to shout out again, Kelly Higgins for having an incredible uh, month, February. Um, she locked in SC10, which was just so, so cool. So proud of you, Kelly. And I know we're gonna hear from her tonight, Melanie Stairs, you guys, so freaking proud of her watching her journey. I'm excited, so excited to hear tonight about how she truly embraced the gut protocol um, test group and watching her show up on social was just so amazing. So congrats, Mel. Can't wait to hear from you tonight and congrats, Kelly. I'll go. I have not had a chance to shout out my coach, Leslie. Leslie and I met in the early 90s, we studied fashion marketing together, and she's just super awesome and super cool, and I know she's going to do so well, and I'm so proud of her and excited to be doing this with her. So welcome, Leslie. I just want to give a quick welcome to a few new coaches who are on the call tonight. I see you, Kristen. I see you, Jess. Welcome to the call for the first time. Um, lots of new coaches coming from January, February, and we start the new mentorship next week. So exciting momentum. I'm excited for all you guys. I'll go. Uh, she's not on the call tonight, but I do want to shout out my newest coach, Kayla. She just finished up the February mentorship and she uh, managed to hit SC4 this month while battling COVID. So She's doing an awesome job and I can't wait to watch you, sir. I just wanna take a second to shout out my coach, uh, Nicole. You're awesome. You've been showing up so consistently with your workouts, getting results, uh, scaring, uh, sending those scary invites, as well as uh, talk, talking about coaching in your podcast, uh, as well as Beachbody. So keep up the great work, buddy. Great things to come. All right. Um, okay, we have so much info on tonight's call. So I'm going to get going with a couple announcements. Um, the first one is Summit. Somebody was asking in Coach Corner how much um, Summit was going to cost. And um, it's definitely something that everyone needs to start thinking about. I was honestly almost even thinking of you, if you figure out what your expenses are going to be, breaking it down into how many people you need to enroll to cover that business expense could be a really cool way of looking at it. But 
Guys, Summit, you can try to make it as affordable as possible by sharing rooms with everyone. I know that when the hotel, um, like the hotel booking things came out, everybody just kind of booked a room because they wanted to make sure they got it, but you don't have to stay in it alone. And honestly, I'll, most people are going to stay four in a room. You are hardly in that room at all. So I would really encourage you to, um, to partner up. Last year, our, you know, when we thought we were going to summit the last time with a big crew, we did a Google Doc of everybody, of anybody that was looking for rooms. And then it's up to you to go to that doc and find other people and reach out to them. Like we're not going to be partnering anybody up. But if that would be helpful, we can definitely put that doc together. Just maybe your name and then you guys can connect within each other and try to find space. Like the year we did go with a, with our, a small team, I think there was seven of us. Um, they didn't know each other. I think it was Jen, Aaron, and, or no, was it just Aaron and I in a room? And then, yeah, and then the, or there was four of us. Yeah, anyway, the other room, like, they didn't know each other, you know? So don't be like, ah, this is weird. Like, it just is the most affordable way to get to Summit is to partner up and share rooms. So start looking at flights. Um, what we normally do is try to do a photo shoot on the Thursday which is the first day. So opening ceremony is usually at 7 p.m. on the Thursday. And we usually try to do our photo shoot before that just to like get it over with, all get together and be able to be like, you know, together before opening ceremony. And then we can all go to opening ceremony together. So if you're looking at flights for summit, I would not, I would make sure that you're not getting in like right before opening ceremony starts, try to get in in the morning or as early afternoon, like, you know, a noon landing would be ideal. Um, yeah, that's kind of it about summit. Um, if anybody has any specific questions, um, start to ask in coach corner and we can all chat together and we'll start a chat pod with everybody that's going to summit. Um, yeah, get to summit. Like guys, I'm not going to lie. I maxed out a credit card to go to summit my first year. Like I wasn't making any money in this business and I was on maternity leave. And I honestly, like I, 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 my, I felt uncomfortable asking my husband for the money because I wasn't making any money in this business. And so I really downplayed how much it was going to cost. I bought my flight and I ended up like I was surprised by the costs. So I had said in the chat that I probably spent 1200 at my um, first summit, but that's because like we didn't share a hotel room. I didn't know the cost. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't, I wasn't prepared, you know? So that might have been a little bit high, but I do also want you guys to be fully prepared. Like you have to have food for all this, those days. None of that is provided. You need to figure out your hotel room. You need a flight there. You're going to be, you know, taking a cab from the airport, like all those things add up. Um, but I knew in my gut, like I had to go, I wasn't going to not go, you know? So, so many of you guys have a free ticket which is amazing. I had a free ticket and I was just like, I can't not go, even though I couldn't afford it. I, I just like, like I said, I made it happen. And I really truly believe that every single one of you guys should make it happen if you want something in this business. And even if you're a hobby coach, guys, it's such an incredible personal experience for you. And look at if, if you, if you're not planning to earn that trip to make enough money to cover that business expense, then look at it as a vacation because I promise you going on vacation with these women could change your life too. Just that aside. So let alone all the training that's going to go on. Like what they do is they divide up um, the training by what level of coach you are. So it's usually like, um, I, I forget if it was like diamonds and below and then one star, two star. And then, you know, so the training is geared specific to where you're at in your business it's another really great reason to try to rank advance before summit to make sure that you're in the right room. Um, I think the summit cut up date is, uh, is it April 28th, Erin, um, for your rank because they need time to make the signs and all the things and organize everything. So that's why they do the cutoff. Um, but if, you are a one star or above um, within this year. You walk the stage. If you are a six, if you are, um, you know, an SC legend or an SC all star, you get to sit on the floor. If you were premier or elite last year, you get to sit on the floor. So there's so many things. Start looking at the FAQ. Start getting excited. Um, get to summit. Absolutely changed changed our business for sure. Like I was a hobby ish coach when I went. I was Emerald. And Erin was nothing. Erin was pretending that she didn't want to coach. So it, it changed our life going there. 
Okay, Autumn's Retreat. So the, tonight is all about gut health. Oh, actually, first I'll do um, the Emeralds in Feb. Congrats to everyone who went Emerald in February. Super, super proud of you. I will get those, um, I will get those out tomorrow. Uh, shoot, I shared the wrong thing. Hold on. And we're going to do the draw right now for... Um, for the emeralds, we're giving away a sisterhood hat. Um, maybe we should give away two. I think we have enough to do that, right, Erin? No response. First one's get. Yeah. All right. Leah Jess Classen, you win a toque. Thank My you. Which color do you want? Put it in the chat. And let's do one more. If your name's not on here and you went emerald, too bad, so sad. We put this doc up so many times. Joanne Anderson. Congrats, Joanne. That's awesome. Yay, thanks. Okay. Um, two more announcements. If you didn't see, Autumn is hosting a retreat for her gut protocol launch. While I was at the Superstar Retreat with Kim, we were sitting around with Autumn and she was pitching this idea. So I heard her talk about it and she wanted to have an opportunity to be surrounded with the coaches that smashed her launch. And um, she was saying like top sellers. And I said to her, I'm like, yeah, but you know what? That's not even accurate because like, the people that are 15 star diamond are all going to get it because they're, you know, their previous customers, they have so many previous customers, right? So you really, in order to make it fair and in order to really have the right people at the table, you should have people from each rank pool. So I love to see that she did that. She's taking the top three sellers from each rank pool, like coach to Ruby, um, three diamonds. And then it was like, I think one star to five star and you know, whatever. So pretty freaking cool guys. She rented a huge mansion in Florida and um, the top three recruiters from each rank pool are going to have an invite to go to her retreat. I said it in the coach corner chat the other day, like this isn't like, oh, goals. Like, no, if you want to be considered for this, you need to be like SC50 is probably low it is freaking game time. And there are a couple people in here that I absolutely know could do that. And, you know, I think actually any of us could probably do that if you're willing to put in the work. So if you are thinking like, that would be cool, this is my time, put your head down and get to work because you could absolutely um, be there. But I just wanted to be like upfront with like, SC12 is not gonna cut it, you know? Um, okay. And then the last announcement is we are starting a new recognition board. Um, our assistant has COVID, so hopefully we get it out to you soon. I'm going to be announcing rookies of the month tomorrow and hopefully posting our SC board on Friday, but we're excited to announce this new contest. Um, and we are going to be recognizing all diamond teams. Um, so if you are a diamond coach and you have a team name and you're posting a team leaderboard, we are going to be doing, um, total points. So like in stride, I think you guys had like 44 points. Every effort had 77 points or whatever. We're going to be announcing them by teams. So that really will encompass almost every single coach on this page, um, we're going to be sending out like sisterhood coach stickers and probably some prizes and really trying to get everybody involved. So I'm sure you guys all have your own little community or chat as a team or however you're doing it, lean into that. Um, and then Aaron and I, I don't know, we got to figure out what we're going to do because that kind of excludes RPS coaches that don't have a diamond team because it wouldn't be fair for us because everybody's under us. So We'll figure that out, but it's a, just a new, fun, exciting thing to do. Um, so if you are a diamond coach, like lifetime diamond coach, um, do a leaderboard and put it up there. Even if you have two people on the leaderboard, do a leaderboard and post it for your team. Okay. Those are all the announcements. Um, okay. Gut health, gut protocol. Oh my gosh. I can't get the name right. So four week gut protocol. So Erin, um, Melanie stairs is going to share with us tonight. I'm so excited to hear from her. I'm going to go first and just talk sort of strategic, like 
classic launch plan tools. And then we're going to pass it over to Mel. Um, she's going to answer a couple of specific questions. And then Erin is going to um, end it with sort of your Instagram strategy and who she thinks this is for. And just because, you know, she did it, she has that sort of unique um, perspective. So guys, just like any launch, like our businesses, they're really built on launches. And every single launch, you have a huge opportunity to move your business forward. Um, very first thing you should do if you doesn't matter how long you've been coaching is go into your back office and print out your customer list. I do this every single time there's a launch guys go out, pull, pull it into Excel or whatever, you know, numbers you use. Oh, I'm like, can't find my words today. Bear with me. Um, and then sort it. I like to sort it by customer source because then I can see who is like, my site means they enrolled with me through ShareCart. And then um, customer lead is, you know, from Beachbody. I like to sort it by that. So customer source. And then I still go through the entire list because sometimes when people transfer over to you, that customer source doesn't always it doesn't always translate. So sometimes they get stuck in like that free lead category when really they were a transfer or something. Another category I really like to keep on my list is previous coach. So if they did transfer over to me, I want to know who their previous coach was because was it one of my coaches that quit and all her coaches rolled up? Or was it someone I didn't know, which means I connected with her over Instagram and she switched to me because that's just going to help my conversation, right? So when you pull that customer list, you can go through and delete a lot of the categories that are irrelevant, but I would definitely keep like the, um, uh, maybe enroll date and the customer source, the email, um, a couple of key factors that are going to help you really like build your share cart and then also connect with them over the next like two weeks as you prepare to do this launch. What's really cool about this call is that we're going to have another call and it's probably going to be, um, oh, so we have a call on March 16th, which will be one day after the launch. And there's going to be a huge group of people that are like, shit, I didn't, do anything and I don't have anybody purchasing. So what I love about this call is we're all on the same playing field. We're all just making our plan. We're all just starting to go through our customer list or if you're a new coach, just, you know, reaching out to people in general. We're all just building this plan. You all have the opportunity to have massive success with this launch and to really move your business forward with this launch if you do it properly. So um, once you've printed your list and you've organized it, it's time to make a plan. It's time to figure out what you are reaching out to people about. So for Aaron and I, we are going to do our prep week on March 28th and we're going to start our group on April 4th. A couple of like, you know, things were factored in for her and I personally, like we're going on that success club trip and just a couple other things, right? So that was the best thing that worked for us. You have to make sure that these dates work for you because you are going to be the one that needs to show up with massive energy, be present in the group and be, you know, leading from the front and also doing this program, which I'm not going to get into, Aaron will, but um, so choose your dates. Also, make sure you have that full prep week, guys. This isn't one of those programs where it's just like press play, right? There's going to be a lot of work that goes into it. There's some videos for them to watch before they start the program. Something else that Aaron and I decided we're going to do today is a prep week landing page, and we will make that um, generic for everybody to use. But what we're going to do is on we'll, we're going to create it on March 15th when the program launches. And I'm going to share my screen and basically show new clients where to log in, what to do. And then I'll stop share. I'm going to talk about how they can get prepared, how best to start this program right. And then we'll share some meal planning tools in the landing page. And it's just going to be a landing page to help people start that protocol because this isn't just about this one specific group. Everything we do, we want to try to make it duplicatable so that down the line, when one of your clients is struggling and you are hearing those bells, like she should probably do gut protocol, you have that tool, right? So that's going to be something really cool. And especially for new coaches, this is going to be a great tool for you to use. Like you, you feel like you don't know how to run a group. Like there are so many tools available to you. The other thing I'll say about that is that 
If you are a brand new coach, you should be partnering up with someone to do this. Lean on your upline or find another coach that's new. Um, don't think you have to do this alone. And um, the resource group is gonna be an incredible space for you. If you're not in that already, the Facebook resource group, we're pouring tons of info in there, guys. And I hope, I know there's a lot of other people that are really great with Canva, that are really innovative, that love to create tools. Please put your stuff in there too. It's not, this is a collaboration always community. Nobody sees what's in your client group, right? So don't, don't like hold things back because you want it to be like special for you. Like we're sharing everything in that group so that we can all have a really successful group. Um, if you are newer and you want to run your own group, but you're still feeling like a little bit insecure about it, join your uplines group be a client in your uplines group and steal resources and watch their lives and then go and replicate that live. You know, like I remember when I first started and Kim was going live all the time in our client group, but I was like, I have nothing to say. Like, I don't even know what I would say. And so I just started watching her lives and I really started borrowing some of those themes and that gave me confidence, you know, like I would only speak for a minute or two to her like 20, but that's because that's also kind of my style, right? So lean on your upline as much as possible. Um, no, it's not the boss babes group. Uh, I'll drop the link when someone else is talking unless someone else can. Okay. Um, all right. So after you've printed out your list, here is what I generally do. I, because we have two weeks, I am going to go through that list with a highlighter and I'm going to highlight everybody that I would like to connect with about gut health. While before I do that, I am going to go through and go to their profile. I'm going to see what our last conversation is and I'm going to touch base with this person on something completely irrelevant. Because the worst feeling, guys, is when you go to connect with someone, an, a, a, an existing client, and the last time you've messaged them is the previous launch, right? I always want to make sure I'm going through this list, I'm checking in with them where they're at in their journey, and just starting the conversation, even just pouring love on their page. Once I've, I'm going to put a little check mark beside them, then once I get to the bottom, I'm going to go back up to the top, and I'm going to start inviting people to this group. Alongside that, guys, I'm going to be creating my share a cart list. So it's super simple. It's nothing fancy. Um, I'm sure there's amazing people that do better things, but I just do it like, oh no, that's not it. Damn it. Do, do, do. Oh. just go to my whole messy desktop. Um, so it's just, an, it's just an Excel spreadsheet, guys. This is so simple. And I just have tabs down at the bottom, okay? And I do this for every single lunch. I just write launch, I write their name, I write their email, I'm gonna write what package they have, and I'm gonna be collecting phone numbers because I wanna do some tech stuff, and I usually put their IG handle. That's it. On launch day, every single one of us should have a list of share carts ready to send out. And that is such an incredible feeling when you get to launch day and you've done all the prep work and you have a group of women that are going to be starting this with you. So I really encourage you to do the work now, get in those conversations, reach out to people, start building your list. I had a girl today, I just sent, we just sent our first info email. I had a girl today respond right away and say, I'm in. So I'm like, great. So I take her email, I put it on and I responded, what flavor of vegan Shakeology do you want? A bag is included with this program. Like I'm getting those details now so that I can start building this list and keep looking for more people. Something else that I really love to do is, and this will depend on you, if you're starting a brand new group, something I've loved to do in the past was I add them already because then they feel that like commitment and buy-in before they've even purchased, right? And you're gonna be doing a countdown or whatever for just those women that are in that group, they haven't even purchased, but by the time purchase day comes, they're already, they're already feeling invested, they're already excited, they're there. If you're doing it in your existing community and you don't wanna add them before they purchase, which I, would, I wouldn't do either, um, what I would do is uh, go back to my list that I'm creating that share cart at least, well, because we only have like two weeks, I would say like at least once or twice a week 
and be liking, commenting, engaging on their stuff being in connection with them. Do not get their info and then not speak for two weeks. Be in connection with them. Ask some questions. Like start to ask like, what are you most excited about this? What do you think your biggest hurdle is going to be? Like, you know, even if those are the same questions and then you could even start a tab on that share a card sheet with biggest hurdle, um, whatever, like what most excited about so that when you are going through this program, you have those touch points that you can loop back to when they're struggling, you can remind them of what they were most excited for or why they want this the most, or when they don't show up, you can ask them, maybe their hurdle came in their way. You know, you know what to talk about and you have permission to talk about it with them because they already shared that with you. So yeah, I would create, and I know I, I'm, I'm paper too, guys. I just find the Excel for launches really works because on launch day, then it's copy, paste, copy, paste. You have their emails ready to go. So um, that, I think I'm going to end there and then we can loop back at the end with some Q&A, but I'm going to pass it over to Melanie Stairs, who was in the Success Starter group. She had incredible results. Um, I will let her tell you about them, but I asked her to come on and um, talk to us a little bit about her experience, what she would do differently if she were able to start it again, and her biggest tip for us all as coaches getting ready to launch this product. So, Mel. Hey, guys. Um, I'm not really like Courtney, and I don't really just talk for 25 minutes, and yeah, so I just decided to write it out, um, just kind of what um, I wanted to say to you guys tonight. So my name is Melanie and I was a part of the four week gut protocol and the four weeks for everybody. Uh, I thought that I would start with some background. Um, I started working out in August, 2020, my friend and my, my coach, uh, for almost a year kept asking me about coaching and saying I was on her dream team and she wanted to do this with me. So after many, no thank yous, I don't think this is for me. I decided to let her I decided to join her at the end of 2020, oh my goodness, 2021 in July. Um, the first couple months were good. The main goal was to be in the black and to drink Shakeology for free. In November, uh, my friend and coach decided to, for personal reasons, to step back from coaching. And this is the insert coach coaster going down. Um, the start of 2022 had uh just started out kind of slow i found out that i wasn't going to be able to go into the test group for four weeks for gut protocol um, because the supplements not being available in canada and i was quite bummed because i was really looking forward to this but i was also looking forward to fire and flow so three days before the test group for four weeks for gut protocol we were given the option to do the gut health test group i was pumped because i knew that i wanted to do it um, not necessarily for me, but I was thinking um, just to be able to learn and to grow and to be able to help people in this area. Um, I remember also hearing so many people saying how important Success Starter is and how you can grow your business. And so that's what I decided to do. Um, I printed everything out and I made a grocery list. I headed out before about two feet of snow were ready to dump on New Brunswick. Um, I was grateful for the chat pod in the Canadians. Oh my goodness, because not only did we have three days to prepare, but we we're also starting a week late than the US coaches. Okay, so here's my actual thing. I'm gonna ditch these notes because I'm so nervous. <laughs> um, so my first week, I was a bit overwhelmed. I, I just a new way of learning, I guess. And I really wanted to focus on doing everything I needed to do to get the results that I could and to get the things that I wanted to make my business better and grow. Um, the first week I didn't get on the scale because I wanted to focus on the food and how I was feeling and the workouts. It was so nice to do the lower impact workouts. However, I was expecting the workouts to be super easy, but they're definitely not. Um, one time Autumn said in the group, why work one muscle when you can work eight muscles at a time or something like that? 
So I weighed in at the end of week one, down 7.6 pounds. Fast forward to week two and three, I was feeling amazing. I wanted to shout it from the rooftops, how good I felt. I knew the nutrition was important, but I was amazed at just how changing your diet could make you feel. My bloating was down. I had hadn't have ca had caffeine other than energized for three weeks, but I had more energy. I was sleeping better and just feeling more clear in my thinking. I was so much more regular than I have ever been. And I had no cravings at all. I was a bit concerned because Valentine's Day and my anniversary and my birthday were during the test groups. And just, I like to enjoy with my husband the food and I just, I didn't care. I didn't have any cravings. Um, so week two and three, the results were mostly inches and no movement on the scale. But I was feeling so good that I didn't care about the the weight leaving. Um, at the end of week four, I was down 13 pounds and five inches off my waist. Uh, during the gut protocol, protocol, I think the best thing that I took away from it was the nutrition program and how good you can feel from eating less like this. And it doesn't matter what the scale says. My family is actually kind of annoyed that I was eating differently this month. And they were like, when is this program over? When are you going to be done? Um, so I was saying to them, like, I don't know if I'll always be eating on this program, but I don't want to go back to how I was feeling before I was eating this way. So I was just thinking of a couple takeaways for you guys before this program launches. And my mom, number one tip, Courtney already said it, um, take time to prepare and be comfortable with the food list. Don't stress the first week because it is an adjustment, um, but it does take time and it is a thing that you need to prepare. Another thing during the test group, we we're kind of told off by Autumn um, because she said, this is a nutritional program with an optional fitness program included, not the other way around. And usually how Beachbody has it is they do a program and you eat as well, but this is mostly a nutritional program. So focus on the food and how you're feeling, how great you can feel and how satisfied and not craving foods. Um, if you don't have the food sensitivity and the gut health issues, you can still do the program and feel great. You can learn and grow with all kinds of challenges. I'm hoping that this coach coaster, that I can ride it up through the four week gut protocol and continue to help people um, just to feel the best that they can and to grow their business. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Melanie, you're so awesome. And honestly, it was such a joy doing this program with you. So Melanie uh, mentioned a little bit that we had a little chat going and we there, there weren't that many of us in the chat. I don't know, less than 10 for sure, I think, right? Um, and same thing, we were all kind of thrown into doing this program at the last minute. Um, and, and honestly, like I was pissed. I was so I felt so disrupted like um, you guys know I'm such a habitual eater I eat the same things every day that's really served me um and this really I felt like kind of up upheavaled my my eating so in preparation for it I remember on the Sunday being like I have no idea what I'm going to eat tomorrow I need to go like I have no idea what's going on and eventually Courtney was like I'm not calling you anymore until you sort this out because you're angry <laughs> and I was I was so angry but you know what I will say doing this program was a freaking gift it was such a gift I literally by day four I felt drastically different in my skin I felt so much more clean light fresh I had no bloat no discomfort no gas no stink none of that um and it was such a gift that I like I really didn't even realize that I needed that bad I feel like there were a lot of signs that I have been ignoring over the years because I'm totally that person that just like puts my blenders on and it's like I'm fine um anyways Autumn says that over 70 percent of Americans have undiagnosed food sensitivities so maybe you're sitting there and you're like I don't know that I need this I don't have floating I don't have gas that's always fine um, but it is an opportunity especially for us as coaches as we test out these programs for our clients it is an opportunity for us to to really know for sure 
Like maybe you don't even know how good you could feel in, in your skin, in your body until you actually give something like this a chance. So it is a bit of a commitment. It is something that you're going to have to be like, I'm doing this. I'm going all in. I'm going to commit to the learning, commit to the data, commit to figuring out my body and knowing my body better. Um, and I challenge you to do that. Like Easter is during the middle of this. So make a decision on if you want to do this or not. I will say Valentine's Day, Melanie, you're stronger than I am. I had wine on Valentine's Day. But you know what? I felt like shit later that night. And my, my farts were so smelly and I was so bloated. And it was like such validation. It was additional data for me. So yes, I, that, that night I didn't follow exactly the plan. But I learned so much from it. And that is exactly what this program is about. Like every time I say first, everybody just laughs. You're so uncomfortable. It's so funny, but it's the truth. Um, it was an opportunity to learn. So I really, like, I really encourage you guys to do this. Do this for yourself. Do this for your community. Go all in. It's four weeks, guys. Like this isn't a 13 week commitment. You know, we've done way longer, way worse. It's four weeks for you to really figure out your gut health um, and give yourself this kind of gift. So I want to talk a little bit about who this is for. Um, I loved what you said, Melanie, about how the program is a gut health program and with the free workouts on the side. But the workouts, let's talk about them for a second. The workouts literally are called for everybody. And I want to be clear, this workout program isn't low impact. It's no impact. And for the first long while, I kept saying low impact, low impact, low impact. No, it's no impact. There's no impact. So it's a really great opportunity. I know some like pregnant moms, pre, like uh, uh, postnatal moms, uh, people who are coming back from injury, people who are trying to get back into things slowly. Like it is a really great op option for them. Disclaimer, it's not easy. There's just no jumping around. It's easier on your joints. It's easier to do the certain moves in terms of on your physical body. You choose your weights. As always, you can make it really hard. She does a lot of that slow movement. Um, you choose. But I will say that the workout program is for everybody. The gut health program that is coupled together that as coaches, we should be doing both together because that's really what this program is all about is she created the gut program and put the workouts to go along with it, right? The gut program also is for everybody. Like, I know that we are talking about who is it best for if you have gut problems, if you're having like, um, you feel like, I think what she says is if you have like um, digestion issues, bloating, gas, if you have, even if you have, are having sleep problems, if you feel like you're working out and eating all the right things, but not losing any weight, if you feel like you're addicted to the sugar, all of those things are kind of symptoms of maybe this program would be good for you. But it also is just anybody who's looking to level up their nutrition, level up their nutrition game, and learn more about their body. That's it. Okay. So as with every launch, are not salespeople, we share our experience. And what will sell, what will translate, what will attract is your energy around this, your excitement level around this, your commitment around this. And I'll say even more, this program more than anything, your vulnerability around this. Like how uncomfortable it is for me to admit that my farts are so bad that my kids are like asking for a match before we go to bed every night. That's real life. But I'm literally sharing that in order to be vulnerable and be real and connect with other people. So be real about this. Give yourself a gut check. Do you have any of those symptoms? Is this like, why would you do this program? What are you looking to get out of it? And start sharing that genuinely because your level of commitment, vulnerability, excitement, your energy around this is what's going to attract other people. And the more vulnerable and like let's say taboo in talking about your poo or talking about your bloating or what that what not that's just going to relate to other women who are going through the same thing so yes if you're a new coach and this is your first call you're like oh god do i need to talk about my poo on social media ultimately it's about sharing in a way to reach other people to help other people right um, and your level of commitment and energy and excitement around this is what's going to transcend to other people. So 
think about this as an opportunity, A, for you, your own gut health, your own physical health, but also an opportunity to help other women who are really struggling with this. I know a lot of coaches, like we're lucky here in, in Canada that you have, you know, we have free healthcare, but you still pay to go to a naturopath. Erica, how much did you pay to go to your naturopath? How much money did you pay to go to that naturopath? Yeah, I did. Good question. Um, it was covered through work. So background story, coincidentally, as got protocols coming out, I found in the past few months, I've been bloating. I'm like a to be girl to no end. If you know me, you know, I love to be mindset. I've gained 10 pounds since last summer with not doing anything differently. Like I just couldn't figure out what was triggering these changes in me. Um, so coincidentally, I booked an appointment with a naturopath over Christmas break and I just got my blood results back. Um, a few weeks ago and a lot of the stuff is lining up with gut protocol, but I paid $500. It was 200. I got it covered through work, but it was $250 to meet with the naturopath and get all my symptoms and the first initial intake. And then the food sensitivity test was another 250. And then, yeah. So yeah. Lots of people have insurance for it, but it's not cheap. It's not cheap in Canada. And I've heard American coaches say how expensive it is in the States. Like this program is so cheap comparably to what you would get at a naturopath. Now let's, let's be real. This is something that you're doing on your own at home guidance from Autumn Calabrese and other doctors and naturopaths who created this program. There is like, um, education around these programs, but you're doing it at home on your own, right? Enter in coaches, our community, our support, us doing it together, us talking together, us sharing together, us doing this together. This is an amazing value that you can help other people who are truly struggling it with their gut health um and and a maybe they're like me and have like ignored it for a long time or maybe they have started to wanted to see somebody but it's so expensive so truly think about the other people in your life who could use this who could benefit from this um and be vulnerable enough to share your own story in order to connect with them uh i'm excited for this like i said i was thrown into it and angry about it like i felt so disrupted um, so I really encourage you to make sure that we have like a, a strong prep week in advance of, of launching your program and the resource group that we put together, guys, it's only as good as we contribute to it. Like so far, Courtney and I are just adding resources in there, but really the idea of that group is that once you, we all launch our challenge group, once we all have our groups in our own our own people doing these programs that we lean back in there. So if you get a question and you have somebody that says, Hey, can I, can I have ketchup that you go back into that resource group and you're like, guys, can we have ketchup? And you get all of the support and analysis there from every, all the coaches. And then we can go back to our group and be like, great question received in the resource group today from the other coaches. Can we have ketchup? Answer is, I still don't know. This is the example I've been using, but I still don't know. Um, all that said, the resource group is for us to lean into. So if you get a question that's a really, oh, I'm not sure, lean in there, share it. If you get something great, somebody does a great video, share it in there. Um, there were so many really amazing lessons that I learned while doing this, and I can't wait to share them all with you guys. We will be putting everything in that resource center so that we can all grab it and share it with our communities. We are truly, you just took the word out of my mouth, Joanne, it is all about collaboration. So please lean in. If you get crazy questions, if you get great funny memes, if you like just share it in there, the more everybody shares, the more we all have to share into our communities, which make it really great. Like I want to be really honest, Courtney and I, some of the other diamond coaches were thinking about doing a one large, big collaborative group for gut health program where we would all do it together. But ultimately guys, we realized it's not just for our clients, like having a group of two, three, four, 500 women in there just means our clients kind of hide and shy away and they don't end up getting the same accountability and direct support that they would in our smaller groups. So in order to benefit them and think of our clients first and keep those smaller groups, but still have the collaboration, we created that resource group, but it is only as good as all of us leaning in there. So there's over a hundred of us coaches in there. I really hope at some point you all post, like make a goal to post something, make a goal to ask some question, make a goal to add, a picture or a resource or a meme or something because if we all add then our groups are just going to be so incredible and maybe this is the way we move forward with all the new programs and new launches as long as everybody contributes it's going to be outstanding um so i'm really excited about that i'm excited for you guys all to experience this program and have your own lessons learned and figure out your own body and figure out what works for you um it's a real real gift
it really is. So that's coming from the person who is bitter and angry about having to disrupt her own eating. So there you go. Does anybody have any questions at all? Any questions about the program? Any questions about anything? We have a few minutes here. Um, either drop it in the chat or take yourself off mute. I, I just want to say something. Um, in most of my consultations, I always, almost always recommend the 4-hour program, just similar to what Autumn's doing. And adult tantrum, because people do not like to do this. It's hard. So I really think that doing it as a group and as a community together, like none of my clients have ever been able to do that. And it's like, it's, it's hard to do. So doing it with other people is like game changer. I think it's going to be awesome. Yeah, Tina, did you want to talk about the four R's? It is part of Autumn's program. Um, I can't remember them off the top of my head. I had them written down somewhere when I was doing the program. Yeah, so it's um, remove, replace, re-inoculate, and repair. I think she uses a different R for re-inoculate, but it's basically the same thing. So you remove the foods, you replace the foods, you re-inoculate your gut, and you do gut repair. I think she uses regulate, maybe. Regulate, regulate. and then reintroduce. Yeah, reintroduce, yeah. So that might, that might be the repair part, reintroduce. The, yeah. So yeah. ultimately, to give you guys a bit of a, a inside scoop, it is, it is a bit of an elimination diet in that you aren't having six main things that she says, and it's kind of the six main food items that people are sensitive to. So that's dairy, gluten, alcohol, um, sugars in the sense of like not fruit, but like um, artificial sugars alcohol. I forgot the last one. I always forget the last one. Um, and that starts right away. It's not like a slow, slowly take them out. It's like right away, starting Monday, you're no longer uh, having those foods. So for me, it does. She does give full food lists. It is different than um, portion fix, but you still do use the containers. Uh, you do have new allotments. It's not the same allotments, like in terms of portion container allotments. It's different than portion fix. Um, it's a lot of food, guys. It's a lot of food. Um, but it just goes to show you, man, if you want to lose weight, you need to be eating way more food. It's always the case. Um, I'm missing the questions here. You talk a lot about, uh, what is, they didn't talk about Crohn's colitis, irritable bowel. I've got to think it's going to be good for you. To be honest, it's, it's just eating such clean, good food. It's not about just avoiding gluten. It's about like eating more vegetables, eating like one of the biggest things that she even talked about in the first week, uh, right away, one of the goals is, and this is the one I struggle with the most because I eat the same thing every day. It's having a variety of foods, having a variety of fruits, having a variety of vegetables, having a variety of like all different kinds of foods and not just buying like your one or two vegetables and using those throughout the entire week, like really challenging yourself. So she challenges you to create a list of up to 30 plants that you would eat in a week. And that's not just fruits and vegetables. That's also like um, beans and quinoa and that kind of stuff. So it was, it's, it's a challenge. And I think it's going to be really great as a group, as a collective, to be like, what are, what are the different plants you're eating? Share your list. Like, where are you at? How many have you eaten so far this week? Like, you're exactly right, Tina. The power of community in something like this will be so wonderful. Um, okay, so in terms of supplements, seeing your question here, Sarah, I like... I, you cannot use, um, you cannot have whey Shakeology on this program. You have to use vegan Shakeology. Uh, I actually have now permanently switched over my Shakeology to vegan and I'm never going back. Um, I just like, A, I now, like, I don't even know why I didn't before, but I just like it better. It makes my tummy better. I'm happier on it. Um, I also drank a lot of the vegan um, Recover. I same thing. I can't go without vegan recover. Um, it's amazing. In terms of the supplements that are provided for this program, they aren't available in Canada yet. So they have the, I think it's the optimize and the revitalize. So Autumn recommends that you get different um, 
products here in Canada if you'd like to do that, if you'd like to follow them. They are optional. So you can recommend them to your clients, you can get them, or, or you can do this program without them. They are digestive enzymes and some probiotics. And she gives you some kind of rec like requirements for each kind. I don't know it off the top of my head, but they were expensive, guys. I'm not gonna lie, I went to the health food store and, and bought them and they were expensive. And to be honest, I kept forgetting to take them. Like you have to take the pre prebiotic every day and the digestive enzyme before every meal. And even if I would keep it out like right on my table, I would still forget it. So you can do it with, or you can do it without. Um, yeah, Courtney, your comment on the raw vegetables. The whole first week, the goal is to eat cooked vegetables to help more with your, your um, digestion as you start this program. So that too is a challenge in your first week as you like prepare to eat cooked vegetables all week. Uh, vegan Sorry. Shakeology is not mandatory, but you can't have whey Shakeology on this, is what I was saying. But to be honest, like, I needed it as one of my proteins throughout the day. Like, I can't imagine, I even, like, I sometimes would have my recover and Shakeology in a day because it's so much food and you're, and you want to have, like, she, she mixes it up so you get, you have some meat protein and some plant protein needed throughout the day. So I, I found both, having both is helpful. I'm not going to lie. Sorry, somebody was asking a question there. Yeah, it was just me. Um, just because I have a registered dietitian is one of my challengers. So she was already like at me asking, like, do you know who developed this besides Autumn Calabrese? Like, was there doctors? Was it a registered dietitian? Like, do we yeah, know? Yeah, for sure. A lot of people obviously were consulted and created this together. I don't know names. Yeah. Um, but definitely doctors, registered dietitians, everybody involved in this. We can look it up if you want more facts to give back to her. I'll do that and let you know. Yeah, no worries. Like, I mean, just because it's not just like a, it's just you're protocoling your gut, right? So I think that's why she was more like, well, what supplements are you taking? What exactly are you eliminating from your diet? Is it still a real, just asking me questions that I did not have the answers to, but thank you. Yeah. Appreciate that. Yeah, if Melanie and um, I think Annalise was in the test group and Aaron, take a picture of your supplements and put them in our resource group because we can, and like a good picture so that we can use that and send it to our Canadian clients. That would be so helpful. Great info, Lauren. She said, Autumn did a video on her Instagram where she said there were about six different dietitians that contributed. Yeah, like you got to remember, this is coming from a billion dollar company. They're not just putting Autumn's face and being like, we know what we're talking about. Like it's absolutely researched um, and supported by people who are experts in the field, right? Okay, guys. Um, if there's no other questions, We'll close it out for tonight. Thank you so much for spending time with us tonight. Get excited about this program. I hope you are excited and honestly, start, start talking about it. Start sharing on your social, start sharing your energy, start getting excited because your energy is what transcends. Bye guys.